Taco Thugging, what? checking in with Philip Taco Soup. Yeah, let's get it, man. Episode 5. So, Marble Thugging. We recently just moved up here to Chicago. Yeah, man. Tell us how that been for you. I don't trust you, man. Yeah, it's been janky, man. Niggas been trying to rob me. You know, a couple scuffles and shit with niggas. And, you know, a bunch of big shit. Mexican niggas. And, I don't trust you. know, a bunch of gang shit, basically. So, can't shut up it's, it's, been, it's been rough, you know. I can't, man, fuck can't you know, say too much on it. But, man, you know, it's been janky. Bunch of, man, bunch of scuffles, that's all I'm gonna say. Too much. Okay, yeah, don't, don't say too much. It's a bunch of gang shit. Don't, don't speak on it too much. <laughs> okay, but so since you've been in Chicago, though, you dropped your second project. Go ahead and tell the people about that janky reality. Yeah, man. 2020, I wasn't gonna drop. I wasn't gonna drop shit, but it's like I wanted to be an artist that dropped every other year, every. You know, at least every two years, every three years, some shit like that. So they'd be consistent with it. But I'm saying, like, I wasn't gonna drop nothing this year. Uh, you know, a tape anyway. I wasn't gonna drop no tape. But I said I'm gonna drop a tape. 2020 turning out to be one of the craziest years we didn't, you know, kind of live through. So I wanted to at least have a soundtrack, my own personal soundtrack for them. It's an album showing up, but I call it my own personal soundtrack. All the songs, well, most of the songs, it's like you're just speaking on real life. It's thank you, reality we're living in. People been losing. There's been a lot of protesting. There's been a lot of, you know, police shootings. There's been, you know, just a bunch of bullshit we've been dealing with this year. I just wanted to do a project kind of speaking on it. People think I'm just going to rap about uh, licks and. Like, look, you know the, the foul shit, which I, I'm going to rap about that too. I mean, yeah, can you kind of introduce us that I, way about yeah, the yeah. shit? And, and, and we're going to, it's more, it's more of that shit coming too, though, but the No, same it's all time, good, because like on your second album, you can tell like you really have kind of progress a little bit as, as an artist. I know you said it's like the soundtrack to your life. Yeah. Which, if you listen to it, you can kind of hear that. But it's like, I just wanted shit that everybody can look back on like let's say 10 years from now everybody talking about 2020 my project going it's gonna sound like 2020 like all the song everything i'm saying it's gonna relate like you gonna know it's 2020 like you're gonna you're gonna feel 2020 like like i said 10 years from now 2030 goddamn he'll look back on this, on this tape like i'm just like you're gonna hear these songs it's gonna bring you right back we dealing with the coronavirus dealing with so much bull crap, you know. It was like, man. Yeah, so like on your on. album, you spoke on the coronavirus. You spoke on Black Lives Matter. And like, when you came up here, you actually marched and protested, right? Yeah, I protested. You know, mom was talking out there protesting, fighting a good fight. You know, there was, was so many goddamn it, white folks doing it. It was more of them fighting our battle for us. I had to go out there, you know, and let them know like we care about our lives too like somewhat I guess but like honestly like black lives to us like we we preach it a lot black lives matter this and that but you can't tell how many black and black killers like you wouldn't be able to tell that black lives matter but actually it's like I don't know man I ain't the smartest person to tell you know to explain it yeah but like basically we do so much harm against each other and then we turn around and, and just keep saying black lives matter black lives matter then you get off your social media then you go do something against black lives i don't i don't really understand uh, so that. pretty much what you saying is kind of like black lives matter but only if that's your friend or like family or somebody you fuck with huh basically so yeah you know you gotta, you gotta okay, I mean, that's time. a point too, but you know, but still, you know, basically, black lives matter. Basically, all lives matter. We pick and choose, like, who the popular person is, or who, you know, this and that. Everything's so goddamn picky, man. Like, what matters at, the, at a certain moment of night, like, everything's so goddamn picky. But it's like I said, it's still black on black killings. It's, it's black on white killings, it's white on white. With some white dude just shot up a protest. It, 
There's so much bull crap going on. You don't know who lies matter, to be honest. <laughs> so it's like, man, you just gotta be safe out here. You feel like your life matters, stay out of trouble, stay out the way. Go go to work, do what you gotta do out here, go get your food. Yeah, I mean, that's true, phone. but you know, even black people mind their business, they still can't be safe it seems like these days. So, yeah. so even when you out the way, you in the way, some type of way when you black. Sometimes the situation turn out unfortunate. I just I just pray to God that I don't be in it, you know. Right. Well, you know some people probably gonna feel very different about your stance on it, but you know, it's it, Marvel thug, and that's your opinion, right? That's my opinion. It ain't. I don't feel like it's an opinion, man. Like anybody know that honestly, like especially you a dude, you ain't. You know you ain't. You ain't really committing crimes on black people. You're more like you scamming your own people. Those niggas is robbing their own, you know, community basically. You don't they, they don't do it to the white folks like that. Yeah, it happens to I mean, like I don't say not too quick. Not just too depending quick. on the situation. They, they gonna give them a little more respect. They gonna say, you know, they I, mean, I can see where you're coming from yeah, with that people point. Don't yeah. dispute what I'm saying, but I feel like whatever, like I'm a real nigga. I done been out here. I'm going by personal experience and I done been around so many goons and all that kind of shit. I know what's going on. It be so many people speaking on shit that ain't lived it, ain't ain't been in it. All they did was go to school, go to work or whatever. I'm like, I've been out of school since like 15 years old. I've been in the street a long time. I'm 26, that's, that's 11 years down there in the street. See what I'm saying? Like, so I don't feel like... <laughs> I don't feel like folks really be that qualified to even speak on the streets, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, a lot of folks, because that is a good point, because a lot of people are not qualified to speak on a lot of stuff, so that is an accurate point there. You know, it is what it is. Everybody going to have their opinion, but like, it's different when you really out here and you seeing what we do to each other. Like, yo, I didn't, we committing crimes on other races. That Like, that's going on, but... For the most part, you gonna do it to the black guy, cause you know he, for the most part, he can't even do nothing about it. You go steal a man gun, he about defensive, he ain't gonna go to the police. You ain't a white person, you ain't gonna too quick run up and they shit, they got security, the uh, ADP shit, the, what is, what's the um, little house security shit, ADT? ADT? Yeah, ADT. ADT, <laughs> ADT. <laughs> Yeah, they having all yeah, that. You know so what you mean. You ain't you ain't finna run up in this shit real quick. Hopefully having dogs with them tall. <laughs> just take it from me. I done been in this wild situation. So I'm knowing what I'm talking about. Like yeah. I said, man, folks ain't really they don't really do nothing to a black guy. I mean to a white guy. They they gonna more like pick a fight with their own kind and Okay, so but back to the album then, because we know you're speaking on real life situation. We know 2020 done been a wild year, because like we just said, all the Black Lives Matter stuff done pop back up on the surface. Coronavirus done came on the surface, and yeah. you did a song about that. And like, speaking of the album in general, like, like you had a lot of people on this one, like way more than you had on your first one. Like you had Guapo feature on there, you had Thugga Thugga, you had Big J on the track. And I uh, had school reports. So. Yeah, man, I keep my friends plugged in, man. We so, all be on each other project. Real gang shit, man. All right, so you're just slowly transforming the CEO thugging on us. Yeah, <laughs> man. I was CEO thugging before the first tape. It just, I happened to decide to come out, like, go on and drop projects, you know. I look up to people like Master P and shit like that. You know, you, you, you the artist. CEO and you having other artists that, that he, as we know sound better than you, better than you around you and you know they really doing their thing, you doing all your right, thing. Alright, so keep the all of it in the family pretty much. Yeah, we keep it in the family, man. We, 
keep each other living. Yeah, I mean, I know you told me you had Scoob on the production. Who else on the production on this one? My boy, uh, shout out my nigga Kashanina Beats, man. He on a couple tracks on that motherfucker. And, you know, just shout out Water Valley, man. Shout out the, the country, man. We, we out here really getting drunk and getting high in public. Like, we, we really is a clown. Like, we showing out, a lot of showing out going on. Hide in public, pills, whatever we, I don't say whatever we can get our hands on, but we, we're getting drugged out, we having fun, we partying, you know. The party bullshit and still work. Still work, like, we doing it all, man. But like, man, it's, it's like, I just, I had to do that project, man. I mean, I told you, I was like, I liked what you did, cause like, the top part, but like the first half of the joint, it's all pretty much your, you and your new stuff. Yeah. And then like every song that you did a video for, you made sure to include it like towards the end towards to get, the like, end. them get they shine on. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I do that for a certain reason too. They, they count on the, well, I ain't gonna speak on it, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> man. Yeah, I, I just put that towards the end because everybody heard that. Them songs was kind of four, five months old. Yeah, but right, but like everybody, like nobody was expecting that big J though. Like Jordan oh, yeah, Holmes, man. like nobody was expecting him to come on there like that though. Yeah, big joy. Shout out big joy, man. Big J on the track, man. That's my, that's my nigga, man. He's signed me. Got more shit on the way. It's just I can't. He one of them people. He don't like people getting in touch with him. You know, he talks to you when he feel like it. So we only talk every so often. But he he busy cooking up shit on his own and. He doing Man, this thing. As a person, like I can tell anybody who watches this video, like as a person who grew up with this nigga beside her, beside me, like the nigga always wrote raps, like real talk. The nigga always wrote poetry and shit. So it ain't like he just can't do the shit. Oh uh, yeah. He that nigga, man. Like I said, that's my guy, man. Fucking with these seagulls, man. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, man, big J, yeah, he he, he that nigga, man. I throw them in the booth, man, and you know, transform them to an artist, you know, cause he felt, he, he just, he was like at a, I ain't gonna say a dead end, but he seemed like real, uh, I, didn't need guidance. Yeah, he seemed kinda sad when he was around me. I said, man, I'm gonna turn you to a superstar, <laughs> man. Fuck that. A little hood superstar. We're gonna take everybody into a legend down here. Yeah, everybody gonna go down with hits under their belt, man. I said, I'm looking at it from a, a futuristic standpoint. Ten years from now, I want, I want them hits. I want the catalogs to be big. Make sure we have hella tape, hella songs, and all that kind of shit. You know. You Cause know. I was just about to ask you something futuristic. I just gonna ask you. So like, what's your? I ain't gonna. Really, I don't like saying the word plans, cause you know shit don't always work out the way you want it. But like, as far as like the music, what's your goals in it? Like, like, what you trying to get it to? Like, what level you trying to get it to? Mm, I don't know, really. I'm just the artist, man. Like, it so ain't... So, comes, it comes. Whatever comes, it comes. I'm not really... Like, I'm pushing it. Yeah, we going hard with it. We, we putting hits out. We doing all that, but... I'm more doing it for my heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real... I'm a real artist, man. Like, I, I really do this shit. Like, I'm really born to do this shit. Ain't really like nothing else I'm, I'm that good at. So I'm really about this shit. And everybody who's about to come around me, if I just touch them, I barely poke them, they turn to gold. They shit go, they, they song out of here. Like, they, they doing their thing, man. So yeah, we, we just artists, man. We like to we like to do art. We like to do music or art, whatever, you know, come with it. Like, I say, I'm, I'm more just doing this shit because I, I was born to do this, man. I wasn't born to, you know, go in a factory and, like, do this shit, like, all day and night. Nah, I wasn't, I wasn't born for that. That, wasn't, that ain't for me. I'm like a Neanderthal. My job is to just grab paint, throw it on the wall, like, and make, make art out of it. That's what I do, man. I don't, like, this is a factory job. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, you're right. Look, like shit, a whole system. Niggas turn to damn zombies up in that bitch. Yeah, you just slaving out to your boss. I ain't really got time for that shit, see what I'm saying? Right. You know, if you the goat, whatever, you call yourself a big billy goat, man, you figure <laughs> a way around a job. Like, 
I say ain't nothing wrong with working the job or you know being a worker shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Girl, I remember even one time I seen you say that little B had reached out to you. Shout out little B, man. Yeah, B reached out to me. Like what he was talking about. Or you, can you say what he was talking about? Too? Uh, <laughs> you know, that's, that's confidential right now. <laughs> uh, I mean, nah. It basically like just what any artist do. They reach out. They want a song. They whatever. You jump on some or they throw you on something. Like I'm, I don't really want my sound tainted like that. Even though, like, be one of my idols. He um one of my the people who influenced my sound. But actually doing a song with him and. You know, paying them to do the damn song. Like, man, B, like, I can go get high with that money or get drunk. <laughs> like, I, I can buy some ass, man, to be honest. But look, I give them 300 for the feature. You know how many 40s come out there, 300? You know how much ass I didn't put to the side to do a, a, a song? I mean, but here's Lil B, man. It's come with the, come yeah, with the industry. Yeah, shout out Lil B. I love Lil God B. I mean, Lil, just in just case nobody knows who we talking about when we say Lil B, Lil B bass guy came out around probably 2000, 2011, somewhere in that era. Like, Swag, you know. Niggas, Ooh. like, were laughing at that nigga. Yeah, now, they, niggas respect Lil B, yeah, and he just did that shit the way too. he wanted to do it. Like, after the bass guy came out, we had ugly guys, some more niggas with the guy shit coming out, so. Got Marvel Thuggan coming out. Like, like can't sleep on niggas, man. Alright, so it is what it is, like, but same time i'm more like just like to collaborate with my partners like people i know personally if mm, i was i be, feel that like, if i was there with them and talk to them you know not over the online shit if i would have meet them and talk to them i may do a song you can kind of vibe with a person but i ain't necessarily like i don't really want to like you don't want to send the shit over like yeah. email and all that all that i'm not really with all that i like to record with my partners shout out um hollywood man Sent them a song. We gonna we gonna do some shit. We gonna next project. It might be on the next project, but I'm working on like five different projects at the same time. So, she it might not be the next year or the year after to a month from the end of the song. But so it is what it is, man. I just like working with my partner. Are right, we good? I'm watching. Alright, we good. Go. <laughs> oh, black man. Yeah, I just like working with my partners, man. People I know. Man. Who well, I know gonna, you know, kill the song. And, like I said, it's more about a vibe. I can't, you don't want to force no song. That shit, I'm into I mean, it. I'm like, this shit to make the song sound good, buzz the, you know, really vibe to it. I ain't in, in for a song to get a big feature and um try to blow up off somebody else's name. But, like, I ain't, I ain't never cared for that. I want my name to be the main attraction. Marvel Duggan, like, I don't need a song saying Marvel Duggan and like, Drake, uh, I was gonna say like yeah, Drake, I, goddamn. Yeah, I'm good, like <laughs> NBA young guy. I'm an NBA young boy. Yeah, I'm good. He doing his thing too, but I'm straight, man. I don't. Then it's like I don't listen to these niggas, so I only listen to me and my crew. So it'll be fake if I be like young boy, whoever, like jump on the song. I don't listen to you. I don't. Our sounds don't, we don't sound similar. It's not going to be a good song. We don't know each other, see what I'm saying? Right. So I do. So loyalty on that, too. I ain't, nah, that's every artist want to do song with their own boy, but. No, nah, not every artist. You got some people who real deal, they want to, yeah. they want to be the goddamn, but they the David the Ruffin, not the Temptation, goddamn. Look, look, they, they signed to a label, they forced to do whatever song, probably damn near the labels they go with. This person, I, so throw him on the song. I ain't with that shit. I'm the like, I'm the, I'm the CEO. I can decide. I get to decide. You know, if this song, that song come out. I got 300 songs. Like, I put out a 300 song album tomorrow. Goddamn it! If I felt like <laughs> you signed to a label, man, you, you ain't gonna be able to drop like you want. You want to I mean, out we see song. it all the time. Like people have to push their dates back when this mixtape, yeah. like a mixtape, not even an album, like a mixtape came and dropped if they try to make money off it. You know what I'm saying? But a mixtape by album, the same thing nowadays, because it's all going up on streaming platform. It's all for sale. It's the same thing. They use the word in different to, to change the momentum. What they, you know, you call it a mixtape, you can keep the momentum at a certain level so people don't take it a certain way. You call it an album. People going, you know, they going to take it as your. And they going to have expectations. Yeah, on it. expectations are completely polished by their work. 
me, I feel like it all is, because it's all, you all, you in the studio, you working hard on it. You know, like I said, if it's on a, a digital service, an Apple, or, you know, Spotify title, it's for sale, it's streaming, you getting money off of it. So, you can word it whatever you want, you can call it a, you can call your album a time capsule, or a, a bottle of joy, or a soundtrack, you can call it whatever you want. It's just a project that's, that you make money off of, basically. So it is what it is. Look at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you know, it is what it is, man. So, I'm, I don't, I ain't know if this album, what I dropped, it just was a body of work I felt like putting out. I felt like it spoke to these times. It was a pretty good soundtrack for 2020. That's all I was feeling about it. I wasn't necessarily feeling like I'm so hyped up to put out an album or whatever, like, the music is what it is, man. You can put out a song today and it might not blow for three years from now. So I, you can have a single that nobody liked and put out a project and everybody liked the other songs. Right. So it is what it is, see what I'm saying? Music just music. You can sell it how you want, you know, promote it how you want, market it how you want, basically. Like this whole Marvel thug and his lick shit. That, that's all me. That's my gimmick. I, I, I put, that fits you, though. I like, put this shit together. Niggas that's know you. Stuff. They know that's you, hell. I had, you know, I could be signed. I could do this and that. But all the label is there for is the, they want to make you famous. They want the money. They going to get I'm you the saying, fame. They would want to put the money in their yeah, pocket. They, they trying to make the them money. rich so I'm saying, with your gimmick. They, they want to get rich off of you. They going to take they whole 80%, 90% or something. And you know, the fame going to seem cool. You got, what, a million followers? This shit seems cool, don't it? But what is it worth if you, you can't even get all your money? Like, you so popular, you so talked about, but you're getting 10% of your work. Like, that ain't me. I ain't in this shit to do all. Like, I'd rather get zero. Like, I'd rather not put it out. You know, that's why some artists, you won't hear an album from them in so long, but they'll have bad business with their label, so they don't want to put out no music into it with the people who control their music and they can't get out their contracts, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you one of them people, I get it, you know, you, you ain't gonna put nothing out, but Big Thug ain't gonna push it out when you feel like it. I said, I wasn't even gonna drop this year, but I went ahead and dropped. That was my decision, because I feel like 2020 needed some Marvel Thug, needed a good soundtrack. My, you know, my perspective on it. I'm like a painter, you know, like Leonardo da Vinci, he painted, like, Painted. But nigga, look, I mean, a lot of people, I'll say this all the time, a lot of people might not take you serious, but you talking what you know, though, because, like, yeah. what you just said, like, Prince said this shit years ago. I don't know if you, like, into Prince like that to watch his interview. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, Prince. just to watch his interview. You know, a lot of people don't really, they like the music. They don't watch the artist's interviews when they speaking on stuff like that, because he said the exact same thing that you just said, pretty I much. I watch the interview. Not word by word, but, you know. Uh, new artists come out. I don't listen to the single everybody listening to. I wait till his face pop up like on an interview and I see what he's talking about. If he seem like a smart dude, I might check his song out. But if you just some dude, you in the interview, you don't you don't really know shit like or you seem slow or like <laughs> I ain't gonna support you. You you just a dummy to me, but I don't care who take it serious or not. You know, Apple Music take me serious, you know, Spot they take me serious when they cut me checks. Not regular, they pay so for your work there. Yeah, <laughs> they take me serious, like, so I couldn't care less about what people who ain't paying me or ain't, you know, helping me just want to spread negativity on me or whatever. That's just going to make me crash out, so I can't pay attention to none of that. Man. I'm just, I'm just an artist, man. Like I said, in a hundred years, we'll see who was really artists, whose work was really remembered, who was really doing this shit. Like you guys said, you can have a song, but I don't feel like you smart or you worth listening to just because your song kind of catchy. It ain't gonna move me, cause I think you're stupid. You know, my shit might be stupid to some people, but if you talk to me in person, then you'll see. But most people know me already. They know who Lig, I'm talking all this crazy shit. They fucking with the stick. Yeah, I walk around with the stick. Like, they, they know what's going on. Like, it ain't, it ain't fake. I can't fuck with no fake shit. Like, a nigga talking about he's shooting a mother. And he don't, he don't do that or he won't. He, he get tested in public. Right. I'm the artist like, nigga can't push me around in public. I can say what I want online and go out. I can, I can do all that. 
I, if I want to start trouble, I can do that, but I ain't into starting unnecessary trouble just to be, you know, talking and shit and rubbing people the wrong way just to just to be doing it. That shit ain't even cool. But yeah. you know, like I told you though, like on the first part of your album, when I said y'all niggas get real violent on this shit. Shout out to Tugger Tugger and shout out to Guapo. I don't like these niggas, but they gonna, they ready to go to war with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's good energy, man. <laughs> like, so niggas gonna like them hoodies gonna fuck with that, though. That's what I'm telling you. They really in this shit. See what I'm saying? So it's coming out right. It's, it's a bunch of maniacs on the song. Niggas know who we is. They know what's going on. They know what we done did. They know the trouble that we tied up into. They know we ain't talking shit. Shout out Tugger. Shout out Guapo. Man, they did their thing. Yeah, tell them, keep your head up, boy. Yeah, keep your head up, boy. <laughs> Go up on, man. Stay out of trouble, man. <laughs> keep delivering this solid music, man. Yeah, yeah, like I told you, like Guapo, like he really delivered on his verse. Like I wasn't like I fuck with Guapo, but I wasn't expecting like he delivered on his uh, oh, yeah. the hanger nigga song. Like yeah. he felt like he delivered. That's my nigga, man. <laughs> like I all told you, but like the on camera joint with Tugger Tugger, I said that's got that's gonna be the one right there. Man, the video coming soon, man. Like my... y'all, like y'all put that sample to like when good get, music. <laughs> hey, when we get Tugger out of hiding, man, we gonna do the <laughs> video, man. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to the boys though, man. They, they, they good people, man. It's just, life will get you tied up in situations you never thought you'd be fucked up in, man. So, it is what it is, man. You don't, you don't know what's gonna happen, man. Shit, someday shit cool. And someday niggas messing with you. You gotta, you know, prove a point that you gotta get violent, damn near. Like, there's so much hate and shit going on between niggas, like, you know, groups of niggas can't be around each other. They can't link up. They can't see. Yeah, we see each other at Walmart. We see each other at the store. It, it's gonna be a problem most of the time. It's just what it is, man. And, like, shit, all that bullshit. Like, we, we keep all that shit off camera. Niggas getting beat up and kicked and all that kind of shit. <laughs> it just we'll keep the work off camera. Yeah, we keep all that shit off camera because. You really in this shit, man. You don't, you don't need the world to know you punching and you doing this and that. Like, that's just that's the shit in the streets. Like, it is what it is, man. But like I said we don't, we don't go around picking fights. We don't go around starting problems, man. We artists, man. We, we link up. We don't link up. Hey, man, who we gonna pick on? Nah, we talking about <laughs> songs and beats. We got beat, the beat, beat business. Yeah, we talking about beat. We talking about getting some money, like you know songs and raps and who gonna write who song who gonna do this who gonna get in the video like we talking about shit like this we ain't we ain't got time to be picking fights with niggas who want to see you locked up they want to see you fucked up somewhere we ain't we ain't really paying them niggas no attention man like we just out here we trying to get this money man like, so like even like i know you said i know you just pretty much with your crew like is there any niggas that you want to work with anytime soon or i know you said holly with one of them you got something dropping with oh uh, yeah any shout other out, niggas shout you know out man shout out buddha too man but nah we um <laughs> we just not really because like i said i don't know there's niggas out here that's good and i you know especially i was in mississippi niggas i kind of wanted to work with but if we don't bump into each other or we don't know each other like naturally or whatever like the song ain't gonna be good because we don't it ain't no not good yard, there, huh? we ain't got good chemistry i can't meet a nigga tomorrow then we drop a hit the next day like that ain't gonna work see what i'm saying right the vibe off i don't even want to be around you like that i don't want to hear your song like all this shit like it's, it's whatever marvel thug and anti-social <laughs> you know, <laughs> to a certain extent to a certain extent <laughs> like if i don't know you i don't know you so why i gotta go out my way to get your vocals okay and, like I, got, I can feel that and i feel like i'm bigger than most of the niggas i be want to work with they'll want to charge me like what the fuck you crazy dude like i don't feel like i'm gonna get hurt being on your project you gonna get hurt being on my project so i don't see why like i'm gonna pay for a feature we, like niggas just don't know we'll get straight crazy on niggas i want your feature like I just go kidnap your ass and you'll be on the song, nigga. Like, <laughs> I'll take your vocals if I want to. Like, a, like, don't play with me. Like, like I said, we ain't gonna pick fights. We ain't gonna pick fights over petty shit. But we don't know each other. We ain't got to record no song or whatever. You know? Like, it ain't gotta be all that. We can just, if 
we ever see each other nod our heads or pay each other no attention, man. I say anything else, like the squabbling of the niggas real out here. Niggas will shoot me just like I do to somebody else. So it's like, ain't no use of, there ain't no use of fake kicking it with nobody. This shit, this shit is for the birds. This shit useless, man. Really. Partner, like that, that shit dead. We ain't getting in the studio pretty much. The niggas even gave me beats. We were partners already. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to Brody. Shout out to Brody, man. Yeah, shout out to Brody, man. Yeah, shout out to school. Shout out Brody. Shout out school. <laughs> shout out Cachanina Beats. Shout, damn, I forgot bro's name. He just sent me some beats. I can't think of his name. But shout out to you, bro. I'm, I'm going to drop on you. Drop on your beats soon. We're going to be on the next project. Yeah, man, like I said, it's been weird, too. We ended up doing it music, man. Like, we dropping these songs. We, like, we doing it at a different level than I feel like other niggas before us got down. Like, you know, I fuck with, um, I fuck with Montana, though. And they, they was big, but I feel like ain't no way, like, they bigger than my crew now. Like, we got them hits now, and, we, well, you know, Vontae's like, doing, like, rebranding right now. Yeah, like, it's not shout Vontae's, um, yeah, shout Sway out, Brother Holly. Shout out Sway Brother Holly, man. Like, I'm going to call like, Holly. Him and the camp, they rebranding themselves right now. Yeah, so, yeah, he's still doing his thing, man. He just dropped. I, you know, I fuck with Vontae, man. But I'm just saying, like, most niggas, like, I ain't I ain't really vibing with their music, man. They, they, they talk too much. Niggas' songs just be garbage anyway. <laughs> Like, niggas talk about drip, niggas like, this, this shit just dead with, man. Like, you, you ain't really feeling your own shit. Right, everybody else gonna feel it. You lying anyway. Like, that's one thing, man. All that cap rapping and shit, man. Niggas gonna figure this shit out from the jump, man. Nigga can tell if you cap, man. Like, when I put out a song that's halfway cap, nigga check me on that shit. Come on, Mob. You ain't, you ain't do that, man. So it's like when I'm hearing it from other niggas, like it turned me off completely. Like I said, I'm an artist, so I'm passionate about this shit. So when I hear that cap shit, it make me like want to just spit on you. Like, man, gone. At the same time, I get it. Like anybody can throw on a, a you know, a whatever kind of outfit and um, whatever kind of outfit and just call themselves a rapper. But that ain't really the case, man. If you a real artist, you ain't really in it for no views or no plays or streams or whatever says. You ain't in it for that. You just in it because you feel like you were supposed to do this shit. I just happen to have a couple views or whatever. But if, if there's nobody fuck with me, man, I still got to drop this shit. Yeah, I still drop this shit because it, it's coming from me. Like, it's just, I say, I'm an artist. I've been drawing and writing and like doing this shit my whole life. Like, I used to draw masterpieces and not show people. They'll go through my shit in school or when they in my house. They're like, damn, what, what is go on? Who did this? Like, and they'll see my signature on shit. Like, he didn't draw this, he didn't do this. Like, yes, I did. Well, shit, that's the case where y'all young people, though, like, bro, they be sitting there and drawing and writing like hell. It should, it should be so many black animators right now, but it ain't. So nobody no, never told them it was ain't a got job. Nobody that to put them in that direction. Right. That's what Marvel Thuggan come in, man. Oh yeah, we we gonna have a whole art studio, man. Well, I'm gonna try to come back down south and open an art studio, man. I'm gonna, um, you know, have for young boys that they got talent, you know, aspirations of shit like that, or just young dudes that just like, I can tell they gotta have talent. Man, look, yeah. if you consistent, you really grind on this shit. You can get somewhere. And it ain't just that. It's just I fuck with dudes that's like I'm gonna put some money in pocket if I see that. Like, there's a lot of dudes I fuck with. They ain't got parents, like, they parents own dope. They uh, ain't got money, or they out here fighting, working with charges. They teenagers, all types of shit, man. Like, I'm fucking with them more. I'm fucking with other people, but I know, I'm knowing what they're going through. You ain't got shit. You only 17, you ain't got shit. Ain't really no job around. Ain't really shit to do, man. It can't be 1,200 dope boys in one town, like, so. Like, I'm more on it for that side. I'm fucking with them people. Like, it's cool, but me, like, personally, I'm 
just, man, I ain't fucking with people like this. Like, man, if they talking to you crazy, I don't deal with this. I turn down the song, I turn down the money, I turn down everything. You gonna disrespect me or, you know, it make me feel, throw the vibe off, make me feel weird. I don't, I'm straight on whatever. Like, it is, I'm good on niggas, man. Like, I'm 26, I ain't got time to make friends like that. You know, like, I'm my own friend, basically. Like, I make my playlists. I got big playlists on YouTube. I push niggas music. Like, you know, when you fuck with Marvo, I'm gonna make sure your shit get yeah, music. So you gonna go all the way. I'm, I'm gonna go all the way for you. You know, on the music and personally out here in real life. Like, anybody who fuck with me, ain't know, like, we all mobbing somewhere together when we at a party. Uh, we the untouchable crew. We don't need guns, but we got them, you know, like, we the untouchable crew. We finna kick niggas, push niggas, step on niggas, like, <laughs> Yes, we dumb guys when we come in the motherfucking scene. So it's like, it is what it is. They you know, they know who they is, man. We didn't push it. We didn't record it because we just thought the shit was funny to do in the moment. Like, so it is what it is, man. Like I said, niggas be having it coming, man. I ain't in this life to pick fights or bottle fight, man. I'm in this shit to... We gotta wrap it up. In this shit to do, you know, I got important, you know, art to make. So it is what it is, man. Alright, alright, so Marvel gave us a quick inside look to the Jankery ass. R.I.P. on Chadwick Bossman too, man. Oh yeah, shout out to him, shout out to Chadwick, man. That's a loss that we took, Black Panther, man. Yo, we took a big L, man, that was fucked up. R.I.P. everybody who lost his ear to the, you know, coronavirus, police brutality, all this bullshit, man. So, (laughs) Janky reality. Janky reality. We can respect the to drop for everybody to listen to. Uh, Jank Reality, we coming out like real soon. No, I'm just saying, nah, we already <laughs> out, man. Like, we out, man. Like, the, the, the so, reality already janky. Yeah, like, y'all go file it. Look, Apple Music, Spotify, all that good stuff. Go get that Janky Reality and, and tell me what you think. It is what it is. I'm really the wildest Marvel Thug in the walk. Uh, Stickman 2.0. We hitting leaks. Next album. Certified FIFA star, we kicking niggas, nigga. It's coming out soon. Marvel Thuggin' Heartbreaker album coming soon. Marvel Thuggin' The Rant mixtape coming out soon. Marvel Thuggin' The Fucking MMA mixtape coming soon. Like, we it, just know hella projects coming soon. We working, man. It's Mo Toga, Mo Guapo, Mo Big J, J Rock. Hella niggas coming out, man. We be stepping on niggas, man. So it is what it is, man. Y'all be out for that Marvel thug and little working, working man. And we out. Pill Talk with Soup. Episode number five.